In this week's episode, how did a township kid end up at the Cathedral of Global Football? But first, a product that makes it easier for our children to study science. In the near future, thousands of children in rural and township schools should find it easier to study science. That's because a visionary thinker from KwaZulu Natal has invented a groundbreaking laboratory that has excited even President Jacob Zuma. Ngo Simaseko came up with the product after a close relative failed to secure a place at a local university. He realized that a lack of laboratories in public schools was delaying our children's academic progress. Something major changed for Ngosi Maseko when his sister-in-law failed to secure a place at a university in KZN. He felt it was all due to her circumstances. If my wife's sister had been exposed to a laboratory during her secondary education, maybe she could have succeeded. Although it was disappointing, the setback inspired Ngosi to think differently. His new goal was to come up with ways for children at under-resourced schools to get access to a laboratory. I started a research on um, mobile laboratories, science mobile laboratories. So I had to stay long nights actually searching the internet. During this time, Ngosi also began to discover his entrepreneurial side. He took a brave decision to resign from the bank he'd been working for to focus on developing a commercial product that would help schools. It was difficult, very, very difficult. But I made my wife believe me. I made my family believe that this was going to work. As he continued with his research, Ngosi discovered that more than 80% of South Africa's public schools did not have a laboratory. I also came across reports that uh, defined our education as um, among the lowest in terms of the standard. But he did not leave it at that. I had to go to what you call science subjects advisors. They are specialist uh, people that look into what goes into science education. The next step was to come up with a prototype a model of the exact product he was trying to create. I went to another company that deals with um, manufacturing of uh, fiberglass material. I spoke to them that uh, this is what I want to do. They agreed to let me use the space, of course, at a cost. Throughout this process, the KZN man was relying on his savings and his wife's salary to fund the project. In 2012, he finally came up with a prototype that cost him a whopping 300,000 rand. When he didn't know how to take it to the next phase, he recalled what President Jacob Zuma had said. We aim to increase the number of matric students who are legible for university admission. He mentioned also during that State of the Nation address that uh, he wants to increase the number of um, graduates or students who passed matric uh, into university into 170 something thousand. Then I decided he's the right person maybe to speak to and to present this prototype to. 
Following countless phone calls to the union buildings, Ngozi eventually managed to get hold of President Zuma. The product he'd been working on for five long years was now finally landing in the right hands. I demonstrated the machine for about 20 minutes in front of them, telling them what it does, how it can help our education system in the country. And it is at that point that I realized that maybe this is something good that I've been working on for so long. With President Zuma throwing his weight behind Ngosi's invention, it is now being used in several schools across South Africa. The laboratory is portable and mobile. It can easily be taken to any class at any time. Then you use also measurements like I've been into classes where the science teacher, you know, delivers lessons. And I like the fact that, you know, during those lessons, you'll find learners themselves interacting, you know, with the, 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 the chemicals, with the, with, the, with the equipment there. Ngosi has now set up a company. He operates from subsidized offices at the Porsche Innovation Hub in Pretoria. These entrepreneurs need to learn how to stand on their own feet, understand how bills are paid, and we, then they move up into offices upstairs or in, in the facility where they are able to set up and start growing and sustaining their own business. Ngosi's mobile science lab costs 56,000 rand. Because many schools cannot afford them, he negotiates with various sponsors to buy the product for learners. What we hope to achieve is actually that we have more and more students who are interested in science and technology in the city. Um, but also because we could only roll out these to a, a, a few schools in, 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 in the city, we would want to actually have a bigger impact by identifying additional schools. There's no doubt Ngosi's idea will help improve the quality of our children's education. If you'd like to be in touch with him, his contact details are on your screen. When we return, what is a township kid doing with Wayne Rooney at Old Trafford 